Now, one of the major uses of kinetics and rate expressions and things like this is to give evidence for the mechanisms of a chemical reaction. Now, a chemical reaction or the mechanism of a chemical reaction is essentially just a series of steps that the chemical reaction can be broken down into. Now, each of these individual steps in the mechanism will have its own rate of reaction. And there will, of course, be one that is the slowest step. Now, that slowest step is the one that holds all the others back, if you like. And the overall rate of reaction will be equal to the rate of that slowest step. So anything that influences the rate of that slowest step will also influence the rate of the overall reaction. Now, any changes in concentrations of reagents, therefore, that occur on or before that slow rate determining step will have an effect on that rate of that slowest step. Anything that occurs after that slowest step will not have an effect on the rate of that slowest step. So therefore we can say that any reactants appearing on or before that slow step, that slow rate determining step, will have an effect on the rate of reaction. And therefore they must appear in the rate expression. Anything that reacts after that slow rate determining step will not appear in the rate expression.